Hello there everyone. I hope you all are having a good day. So right now it's 12.47 a.m. in the night and today is 15th October. So you can see. Oh, never mind. Three minutes late because uh, when I saw the time when I was about to record, it was 12.47 but three minutes passed by. So in this video, tomorrow morning, I'm leaving at uh, around uh, 6.30 a.m. I'm traveling to University of Guelph. There is a cybersecurity hackathon which is going to be super exciting. This is something which I'm not even 1% aware of. I don't know how the technologies work, what is the stack or how things work. I have no idea about it, but I want to participate in a hackathon. This is my very first time I'll be participating in a hackathon and uh, it is going to be really fun, I think. I'm going with uh, one of my friends, Shakila, who travels everywhere with me for IT events and everything. So we were planning to rent a car, but the issue is that uh, we have another event on Saturday and we have to travel to Toronto. So it's a Saturday and if I return the car when the store opens at 8 a.m., I'll be missing the bus, which is not something I want. So we did a ride share and uh, we are taking that right tomorrow morning at 6.30. It'll drop us over there close to 7.45, 8. And then at 8 a.m. we have our practical lab for mobile application development. So we have a Flutter small project or something that we have to create in two hours. So I think uh, we'll be able to finish in what, 30 to 40 minutes. We'll finish it, we'll submit the assignment. And then after that, hackathon starts at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then uh, right now I just finished some work. There is pretty much going on right now in life. There is campus work. There are so many new things that I have started. So I'm finishing that. And uh, other than that, I will go now get a sleep for what? Uh, four, four and a half, five hours. Uh, not five hours. It's one, one almost. I'll get up at five and get ready, get my brain fresh. And then we'll leave by six. So let me go and have a sleep and then uh, I'll get up in the morning and then let's start the journey. Let's start the vlog and see how the hackathon goes and everything. Stay tuned. So we have a hackathon which starts at 9 a.m. It's still 4 p.m. Never mind. And then uh, it is at University of Guelph. So yeah. And then we come back and then we have this event networking event in toronto which i paid 15 dollars for this is from 11 a.m so next morning we would have to take this go bus which will leave at 8 28 take us to union station at 10 48 then we'll run to the event then we take a bus back at 4 40 and we reach back brantford close to 7 this is expectation so let's see and now let me go sleep and now i'll go sleep and connect with you all tomorrow Hello there everyone, I'm back again and the morning is starting at approximately 6.30 and the bus ride is going to come and I'm going to break fast and I'm going to get ready. I'm going to eat two break fast and I'm going to take some of the rest of the road. I'm going to see some of the rest of the road. I'm going to get the bag and the proper ready, the laptop and the mind is going to get a lot. The phone is going to get a little bit. The laptop. लैपटॉप वगैरह रेडी है इसके अंदर सारा कुछ ट्राईपॉड वगैरह भी रख लिया माइक्रोफोन वगैरह चार्जर तो अब जाते ही अपना कॉलेज की मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन की प्रैक्टिकल लैब देनी है उसके बाद हम हैकेथॉन की रजिस्ट्रेशन करवाएंगे फिर नौ से चार का इवेंट है फिर शाम की वापसी है तो बस राइड आने वाली है फिर निकलते हैं गोल्फ के लिए एंड करो एन्जॉय ये वाला ब्लॉग So we are just about to reach in four minutes and then uh, we have our practical. We'll do that and after that uh, we'll see how the hackathon goes and we'll register for it. So stay tuned. So right now we are at University of Wales and uh, we just came here. We are planning to give our practical lab over here and uh, let me show you a little bit around. It's very cold and uh, in the mid of the event we'll go outside and explore this university a little bit more. But it's really nice. Looks like some hotel instead of a university. 
but this is a i guess research lane part of university so we have our practical and it will start in what 5 minutes do we have wifi access no i'm giving my hotspot for now just in case yeah same and uh, yeah after that we'll go register for hackathon this is something which we both don't know nothing about cyber security but these things are good you get some experience yeah. you get to meet people it's all good basically just get roasted <laughs> by knowing nothing so yeah and then let's give our practical and then we'll connect again <laughs> Registration is completed, and we are just gonna have our breakfast right now. And then once we are done, we'll head for the event and let's see how things go. Guy putting all the milk he has. Yeah, kind of cracking up over there. <laughs> and there's this thing. If it becomes bingo, then we get a prize. Yeah. Today and it's really today really shows a testament to the growing interest in cybersecurity and your commitment to of course enhancing our cybersecurity posture. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the so, uh, Max uh, following her to my left is Olga and the far left is Beatrice. So we're all can um <laughs> challenges, opportunities for new graduates um, and those trying to change careers and are looking to get to cyber security. And I'm going to go to Olga first, uh, followed by Ryan. When I speak to customers, everybody needs someone, right? And why is it easier than you think to get into cyber security? Because when you look at the SOC and the SOC kind of jobs, First one is tier one response, right? So it's more kind of simplified jobs when you have to follow procedures, right? It's what we've been doing today is probably like level two, three, right? So level- You know who you are. So there is uh, Gazraj, uh, Lucas, uh, Moksh, 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 yeah. Moksh, Moksh, Tim, come on up. Congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. LinkedIn and put posts or you go to LinkedIn and start discussing about the post of someone that is known in cybersecurity and people would know you, right? That would play an important role, right? In just landing the first position. Second, uh, look at the way that you one, two, three. KPZ, why you don't do one, two, three. All right. 
I really appreciate your feedback. Each and every year, we we try to bring in something new. Last year, we had a hackathon for the very first time. So your feedback is very valuable to us. I see there's actually some familiar faces in this group today that actually attended our hackathon last year and is returning to us uh, this year. So so please make sure that your uh, receiver, once you receive your email, so please complete uh, that survey. Thank you to Anthony as well for making such a successful event happen. This event is a checkpoint in your journey. So don't stop here, keep learning. So the event was really good and let's get to hear feedback from someone who is not field of cybersecurity and from a person who has some background in cybersecurity. So let's get to hear from someone who has a background in cybersecurity first. Hello everyone, my name is Vishwesh and I'm currently taking fraud investigation risk management at Conestoga. I have some background in cybersecurity. So overall, this event was super fun and I highly recommend you to do it in the future as well. Uh, it's a nice way of networking with your fellow peers and it's a good way to meet someone new and then build a connection out of it because you never know when this connection can come in handy. So yeah, overall the event was super helpful and I really learned something new today. So yeah. Hey everyone, so I'm Mandar. I don't have any experience in cybersecurity. I'm a web developer. And for, as for the event goes, overall I like the setup of the event so there were multiple screens and all the like uh, team record uh, live score were being displayed on the multiple screens so i really like that concept and for the event que uh, question goes the some of the questions were really interesting one of the, one of the questions was like uh, to read the text messages based on the raw data we, we got so like uh, the questions were really innovative, I feel. And overall, I got, got to learn a lot. Um, so just like Mandar, I'm like into web dev, full stack. And I don't really have any experience in cybersecurity. But getting involved in different uh, events, such as cybersecurity, gets you, you know, more exposure. The more exposure you have, the more you know about the different fields in tech. And I feel like that's a good way to learn. And it does show also recruiters or other developers that, you're willing to learn, and you're willing to go out your comfort zone. And even though we didn't know anything about national security, except uh, Vish, uh, we still learned a lot and how different technologies we use like Splunk. And yeah, that was a pretty good experience. They also had a in resume uh, section, which is you know good for students who want to have their resume reviewed and all that. So yeah, I think that's about it. I would like to commend these guys on their ability to learn something new going out of their comfort zone because they don't have any knowledge of cybersecurity and still they came to a cybersecurity hackathon and were open to learn new things. I really appreciate that. And now I would like to uh, invite Sarthak and get to know his feedback on this event. Yeah, sure, sure. Get so talking about my feedback, the event was really good. First of all, when I came here, I was thinking, what the, what is it that we have to do? Then this guy explained me about Splunk, how how I can do raw search and something. Like uh, just typing index is equal to star, we get the, all the data. So it was really fun. And then slowly, slowly thinking about it, I was using AI just to analyze the data and everything because it was really in help uh, during the event. And we were open to use anything. We can use AI, we can use Gemini, anything, Gen AI, anything. And uh, it was uh, overall a great experience, uh, good new types of learnings, and I would say good types of uh, networking sessions uh, in the event. And uh, also I would like to mention that if you guys feel like this is something which is not relevant to your field, still just go because it will uh, benefit you in the long run. Because let's say this is something which you are better at, right? Maybe this is something you want to go in in the future. So I would highly recommend you guys if you want to pursue maybe different fields or something, just go get some exposure, connect with people. And uh, yeah, it was a really good experience. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Splunk. Thank you so much, University of Guelph. And thank you so much uh, to the whole team uh, to organize this amazing event. Thank you, everyone. So as always, thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a good day. Jaldi milte aane wali agli video mein. Tab tak ke liye goodbye and take care.